Okay, hi everyone. I just wanted to give you uh, a little bit more detailed overview of this project that I'm that I'm working on. So, the video you've seen the video of me and, and one of my students, Nagam. Uh, Nagam is an, a higher level English student of mine, and she is she's in my four o'clock class. So, so, so to kind of give you a little bit of an idea of what I do here. I, I work in, in the Vlata refugee camp, the largest refugee camp in Palestine, and I teach English and art to, to young girls who come to the Nahra Aloja Center, uh, which is here in the, in the center of the, of the refugee camp. So I have three classes, and each class is a different, is a different level of English. So two o'clock is a lower level of English, three o'clock is an intermediate level, and four o'clock is an advanced level. And Nagam is in my four o'clock class. So, um, the girl, you know, I might see between 60 and 80 girls in a day. I've, I've had a couple of very busy, busy days where I've had lots of girls to come in. Usually, there's a set number and, you know, set list of the girls who come in every day to each of the classes, but sometimes you'll have new girls who will just trickle in who, who are interested in, in taking, um, you know, taking art classes and, and English classes and learning. So, um, so I've started working on working towards this project. I've had I would bring my cameras to class during the day, and I have a couple of smaller cameras. And I found that a lot of the girls will just they'll pick them up and they'll start they'll walk around the classroom and they'll take pictures of different things going on and they'll go outside and they'll take pictures and and these photos are very and they're very raw and they're very kind of in your face and real and it really got me thinking that it would be wonderful to equip a lot of the girls with cameras so that they could take them home and and photograph their, their daily lives here in the camp. Um, because they have so much to say. These girls have so much they need to say and while a lot of them can't communicate through English, we can all communicate visually through the, a mutual, you know, physical visual language that we all have, you know, that we share together. And I think that it's very it's very important to me to allow allow the girls a chance to express themselves. So I'm asking, and all the girls of Malata are asking for your help. If anyone has any used digital cameras, um, anything small, it can be inexpensive. It can be you know a few years old. As long as it's functioning, uh, it'll it'll work fine. So for more information, um, please just send an email to my to my Facebook or if you would like to donate and you like to find out where to send where to send your donations you can also also send send an email my way. So anyway I'd like to thank you for, for watching and thank you for for any help that you could possibly get. We really, really, really appreciate it. So uh, I posted a few links that might be helpful too, a link to the center to my to my blog. Um, and I'll also, I've also posted a link to some other work that I've seen locally that is very similar to this. So please, 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 please if you can help, uh, we would absolutely love it. Thank you, thank you so much. And um, hopefully you'll get to see some of the girls' work soon. Thanks.